What's up boot fans and welcome in. Today we've got the Puma Evo Power 1. Got this pair right here that I've been testing. Before I give you a lowdown on these ones, I want to take this box out that was sent over by Puma. And uh, pretty cool box, it has some text on the top. It's got a pretty cool um, cutout on the side. You know, it's all Puma. And then inside, it's got also a pair of boots that sit in this like cutout region. If you can see it. So that's pretty cool, pretty cool box to send over the boots in. And here I have the actual boots. Let's take a look at the clean pair first. Um, I'll give you an up close look at what's going on. You can see that it has a lot of foam across the front. That's the new Evo foam, Accu foam that's been added. Runs right across the strike zone. You got the Everfit cage on the external side of the boot. Which is different, but it adds some durability. Again, you get your Evo, Evo power hit on the side, and its aptolite light is the upper material. You'll also notice on the tongue, you've got some more of that uh, foam, Accu foam, that helps when you're striking the ball. And it's a pretty cool colorway. Now uh, let me get cracking and bring in the pair I've been testing to show you a few things. Um, first thing obviously is that the, the foam region. As you can see from me wearing them, it's definitely more defined than this than it is in the original pair. Um, it's a soft material, the foam is, as you'd imagine, so it's pretty squishy. Um, it's very, very nice for striking shots, really nice for striking shots. You get, without the surface being textured, you do get like a sticky feel on the ball, which is really nice. Um, Definitely ideal if you are a person that likes to strike some hard shots. You can see how these um, tri uh, rectangular panels run across the front. And again, you can see that, that definition or that line that runs across. Now, when you have your foot in the boot, you don't feel this um, as it kind of like lines itself out. It's only when you take your foot out that you can see the, the differentiated level, like the tier paneling in the boot. Uh, if you want to look at the front to see, actually this boot is not a good example. This is my right boot so I've been striking on it. You can see how it kind of is marked on turf surfaces. I've been wearing them on turf. Where they've been working out really well. I've also got to uh, bring them out on grass for a training session so I'm looking forward to getting on grass this weekend for a full test. In terms of the sole plate, um, works out really well. They've mixed up a conical and some blades. You'll see on, I think it's this boot right here, yeah, they have the stability blade. Now this is not on the, the model version, so I'm not 100% sure if that is going to be on your boots or not, but it's, uh, you know, it's, it's an indication that uh, Puma have definitely gone for stability and, and uh, traction with these boots. Um, actual flexibility, very flexible from first wear, right out of the box. That sole plate is very flexible, easy to wear. I'll even bring in the model version which I haven't tested and you'll see that they, they flex nicely. Plenty of flex in there. And then after a few wears they really loosen up. So uh, it's definitely an easy boot out of the box that you'll be able to wear in game. And again, I'm a, I'm a big fan of these, these um, the Accu foam that's on the tongue. So it's pretty cool. Off-center lacing as well. So there you have it. Now just to bring in a few other boots to compare them to. Obviously the previous model or the previous power boot from Puma and um, they had the 3D shooting technology or 3D power shooting technology whatever it was called it wasn't very special it was nice in the first release but after that I think all of us were pretty bored with the the range so it's obviously nice to see uh, Puma go for something just a little bit different in their power category with other companies like Adidas, Mizuno and Warrior all the strike zones right, are made of like a, a rubber um, or like a TPU plastic material and everything is, is external and on top of the boot. And I think that's what really differentiates this boot is the fact that that um, padding is underneath the, the material. It's not on the surface of the boot and it doesn't add like a little bit extra traction or grip like these ones do. Again, in saying that, as I said previously, um, I did feel that there, there is a little bit of a sticky tacky feel and it's probably because as you touch the ball, these this memory foam kind of like soaks back in so it's very receptive to touch on the ball 
which is really nice. And it's definitely different. I like it a lot. I like what Puma have done. I like the fact that they've called it the evil power, sort of sick with power, whereas companies like Adidas um, have moved around Nike with the Hypervent and have moved completely away from power. So that, that definitely differentiates them a lot. They do fall into the same category as these boots, which is obviously power uh, for players that like to strike shots and get on the ball and get some nice touches. So there you have it. This is the current version of the Evo Power. Um, I'm going to be spending some more time testing these boots out to see uh, exactly how they do on different surfaces and I, you know, I want to see what durability is like overall in the next few weeks. I would definitely appreciate if you guys like this video. Um, we're bringing you more videos like this. We've got the Adidas Copa Mundial. The new colorway coming, the Samba colorway coming this week as well. So make sure you like this video and subscribe to South Cleats 101 so you can see all upcoming videos. Again, this is the Puma Evo Power 1. Check the review. I'll leave a link in the description below as well. Thanks for watching, guys. Guys, welcome back in. Something that I forgot to mention, something that was really important based on the sole plate, is how it flexes in both directions. And this is obviously something that Puma um, emphasized through the release process and how when striking the ball, it gives that extra bit of flex. Um, and it is basically, as I said in short before, they're really flexible going this way, but they also have flex going this way. And that's something that we normally don't see with boots, as you can imagine. I mean, I bring in something like the Predator. Ugh, can't bend it. The Warrior, not a chance of any bending in it whatsoever. It bends this way, but will not bend the other way. Um, and even the Mizuno, it won't bend. Um, but again, the Evo Power, very easy to flex back the other way. So it has that spring back, so as you're shooting, it has that um, tendency to bend and allow for a little bit of extra power or flick behind the ball. Very important, forgot to note that. Um, final thing, if you're still here, leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think of the Evo Power. I forgot to add that in the video. Um, I just basically want to know what you guys think, if Puma have taken the right direction with this boot, and if it works for you. Thanks for watching, guys.